Let's turn to some politics today. And there's still uh, some real angst there, isn't there, between those former Liberal MPs ousted by the Teals. There's almost a bitterness here, worse than the bitterness between Liberal and Labor, I think, Kieran. The ill feeling between the Liberal moderates who lost to the so-called Teal independents and those independents rolls on. We know Josh Frydenberg is weighing up running again for Kuyong. There is talk others like Dave Sharma and Tim Wilson might put their hands up again. And we saw this footage yesterday of a row between the vanquished former member for Goldstein, Tim Wilson, and a representative for independent Zoe Daniel after Wilson was asked to lay a wreath and Zoe Daniel did not attend one of several Anzac Day services in her electorate. Very inappropriate. Ridiculous. The federal member for Goldstein isn't an Anzac Day service oh, in well. her community. Yeah, I'm this sorry. is her representative. All right, yeah. how are you? Now, no one wants to see that at Anzac Day services. I don't care who's at fault, but it will be very interesting to see what happens in the contest for these seats at the next election. Some of these Liberals who lost seemingly can't let it go. And, of course, it goes the other way too, Kieran. In the seat of Bradfield, Paul Fletcher's got the independent who ran against him, shadowing him and setting up an office. So a lot of resentment on both sides there in that particular political contest. There is, isn't there? Andrew, thank you. We'll talk to you later in the program.